What is it going to be? King Week on here to do a Toriko video. I'm a uh, thick luck, man. Today's been insane, right? One, freaking One Piece was, was ridiculous. I did a 20 minute reaction to Gintama Raz, and I still can't get over that chapter. And then Bleach as well, bro. Alright, 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 alright. It's Toriko time. I heard the chapter was crazy, man. <laughs> I'm not ready, yo, because I'm laughing because I'm like, I I'm, I'm sweating. I'm already sweating. Mitsutoshi already has your boy sweating, man. I got a nice fresh cut ready to do Toriko. I see freaking Tengu brunchy, and I'm, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to read this chapter. I, I'm afraid of sweating, yo. I'm afraid of sweating. I'm about to go take another shower. Uh, what? Midra's not here. Well, man, I came in and brought four items the full course of the way here. What do you mean he's not here? <laughs> he's raging. I don't know what to tell you. If he's not here, he's not here. Then when is he coming back? I don't know. Hang on a sec. He's he's the one that asks us to do this. Don't worry. I've already released all of the captured cooks as according to Lord Midera's orders. And, and I tell you, Midera's about to go in like a savage against Joey. Well, what did, what did you say? Are you serious? Why would Midera? I don't know all the details myself. Lord Midera only had one thing to say. Damn, he only had one thing to say. Let's see. I apologize as well for the if 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 like the internet's bad or because I'm I'm, I'm uploading a video as I do this. It's pretty late at night. Yee, dude, look at Midoriya's face. I'll be back. I'm gonna finish up some leftover destiny. Leftover destiny, dude. They're talking about destiny like if, like if it's food, like if it's a piece, if it's just some soup. Like, yeah, man, he goes to, he, 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 Midra goes to his local Walmart, you know, or whatever in the world they have, that's Walmart in, in, uh, in, in, in the gourmet world, and he goes right in there, and he says, you know what, can I have a soup of destiny? You know, I mean, it's Toriko, they're gonna have a soup of destiny, leftover soup of destiny, man, that's my boy, instead of Campbell's chicken noodle soup, it's destiny's chicken noodle soup, man, that's the way it is down there, it's what he said to me, what? What's that supposed to mean? So then, what have you been doing all here all by yourself, Otake? So you know my name, Brunch the Tengu. Brunch the Tengu. That's a pretty nice name. When you say it backwards like that, Brunch the Tengu. Tengu Brunch. I heard about you from Komatsu. Besides, at some point, you managed to make your way into the ranks of the top 100 chefs. That kind of ranking news makes its way even into the bewitching food world. Although I'm still ranked third myself, I my only goal is to hear the words delicious from the mouths of all the people who eat my food. That is awesome. Yeah, that's definitely a good conviction if you if 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 you want to be a a good cook, man, or a person, because you know th th at the end of the day, th that is what's important. You know the ingredients, uh, you know all that stuff. Of course, you need it, but it, it is the person enjoying the food. Is the person you know? Can the person say they really love what you're making? Because that that at the end of the day is is, is why you do it. You know, Lord Midra has never said it even once to me, Lord Midra. He might not, he might never, he, why does it sound like a video game conversation? He might never be coming back at all, but but if by chance he does, if he, if he does come back someday, he'd probably be exhausted, worn out, and tattered. When that time comes, I really want to be here to feed him well, to give him a proper feast, because as of now, I'm the only chef still here, and until the day I finally hear the word delicious from Lord Midra's mouth, I want to keep on heading forward. Good conviction. Definitely good conviction. I mean, it's true, because, look, not, 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 Yo, Midra is crazy. Midra is taste buds. Real talk. It's, it's really, really hard to please that man. He won't be coming back. Just think about it. Someone that powerful just released all those hostage chefs. Come on! <laughs> yeah, they pull a card, bro. That's my boy. If you guys aren't somebody who's my card. Ooh, look, look at that thing. He wouldn't do that unless there was a very low possibility of him coming back. He's probably gone off to a fight. He might very well die, and he's not dying. Midra can't die, bro. But it's Tony go. I don't know. Lord Mira, I what should I do? You should leave this place. He's getting out there, gearing up for one hell of a competition. If you can't stand to wait here at home to fill him up, then pack a delicious meal and bring it to him to cheer him on. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, brunch, that's what I'm talking about. Yo, brunch has a huge thing on his back, yeah. Either way, we've got to see this full course delivered to him. After all, Toriko asked me to do it. And I've got to keep my promise. Say, Otake, how about coming with me? Competitions can get awfully fired up, you know? Oh my! And he, he, of course, direct resemblance to the volcano to showcase here in the bottom panel. Oh, uh, what the? The temperature just dropped, just dropped a little bit, and it's gotten dark around us. It can't be the gourmet, the gourmet eclipse can't already be here. Yo, it's 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 here already. I can, I can, I can still see a little bit of light over there, to where the light. Oh, yep. So that they're heading over to where 
the reading. I just noticed the name of the chapter. Onwards to complete the full course. Is 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 God really in that can? As some comments were saying. All right then. Oh, here they go. They're, they're opening it up. It can't be. Inside there, yo, is God really in there? No way, dude. Shoo, oh, what the hell's this? Wait, what, what, what happened? What's wrong, Tori Are you okay? Yo, to, yo, yo, a little bit of air got in his eye. Toriko's struggling. Look at the face. Look at that in his eye. Hello, come on, man. Wait your turn in line. Well, he was the first. <gasps> It's here, the legends. What the fuck? Look at his. He's got the wings, bro. He's got the wings. Oh, He's a bird. He's got a wing. Yo, y'all know how I feel about things that can fly, bro. Oh. Yo, it's over. This, this, this guy is he's one shotting dimensions. <gasps> Bro, look at because we saw a little glimpse. You know, it, there was never confirmation. But you look at this, look at his hair. He's looking savage. Yo, he looks. Why is he so buff? Come on, old man, wait your turn line. Well, he was the first. Yo, dude, look at him. He was he was the first one here. Yo, B blue. I thought, look, man, blue has my favorite technique in the entire series of Double Fork. But my boy, he's already he's already my favorite. Just off for design. You guys know how much I love wings, and this man looks like he has wings growing out of his back. Yo, if he's flying, it's over. If he's if he's doing an aerial Devil Fork. If this dude is doing aerial devil forks, I'm talking about if there's someone on the ground and my boy, he's flying, it, 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 just the gusts of wind is causing tornadoes, you know, the F5s. He comes down and he proceeds to hit someone down from the ground. If Toriko grows wings and he turns into this because he's eating the, the I mean, ooh, oh man, when he eats God. You know what? Mitsutoshi just has to chill because wait, wait, wait. Bro, red and blue are just looking at this guy. Look at his... Blue fears no one. But Blue's over here like, come on, man. What you... He even says, like, well, he was here first. Yo, so this is Toriko's first Oni. And he has, bla he has black hair, of course. So that, like, that represents Toriko. So he just makes me think. It's like... I... Yo, my heart. I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating, dude. I... It's just it's the wings, man. It's the wings. I'm telling you. Anything, anything with wings, anything. I don't care what it is. You guys know me, Emperor Crow, great, greatest. I mean, he's the greatest. But there's a reason behind that. I love things that can fly. I, I love anything with wings. And this dude, right, dude, if he performs, if he comes down from the heavens and does some sort of technique, like a brand new technique, like a fork, a knife, something, that comes down from the, from the skies, I mark, oh, dude, he has wings. Come on, yo, and then just the aura around him, screw it. I mean, he's he's inventing a fourth color of hockey, like, what's going on? Oh, and they're, they're, now they're having a conversation. This is going to be a whole can of worms, now that he's woken up. What incredible energy. Good morning. Good morning, Blue! Blue! <laughs> Shout out to Nightwall, man. Shout out to the, because that's, that, that's his boy, that's his boy. Shout out to Nightwall. This statement right here legit makes me fear uh, white, black, wh 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 I'll, call, I'll call them black and white, because uh, you know, I don't know which one, I don't know what, which one it is. This is going to be a whole can of worms now that he's woken up. Red is like, oh man, this guy's a troublesome one. Yo, he was the first one there, and he only was awoken after. D mind you, folks, he was only, only awake. He, he, after this man ate like freaking all these means of full course, but there's something in that can that finally made him awake, yo. And Toriko looked like he was going, he was about to have a seizure or something. That was crazy. But you guys have to understand, yo, I am hyped. I, I am sweating, dude. Yo, he, I, I, if those things are wings, 
I, I, I look, man. I'm a wing. I'm a wing fanatic. <laughs> I'm a wing. Wing. And not the Hunter Hunter wing. Wing, dude. I mean, Hunter Hunter wing's nasty too, but. Yo, look at, and he has the scars. He has the scars. After all, Toriko's body wouldn't be able to handle you flying out even for a moment. Bro, what is going on, yo? Bro. Blue? Did that really just come out of Blue's mouth? Blue? The same Blue who called the a Heracles a pack horse? He said, Take it easy, Toriko's body can't handle you. You can't get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Yo, look at his face. This has to this has to be this has to be one of the most savage faces of Tor Tor Toriko. I mean Mitsutoshi makes a lot of panels. But G look at that thing. That thing's that 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 thing's not even a demon, it, it's an entity. Like Look at it, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's having beads instead of a chin badger. It, it, has, it has like God's testicles right here. Like, he's like, whoa, what's, what's, what's going on? And he's just, he has the scars, yo. He has a beast design. Oh, I'm in love with this thing. Now I know how Nightwall feels. That's the same way I feel about black and white right now, yo. This dude is beast. I, I yo. It, it, I'm telling you right now, and I'm going to the next page. But I'm telling you right now, if I see an aerial attack, if I see an aerial fork, or a kook, no, no. If he does a tornado kooky punch, I'm, 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 Nah, bro. <laughs> let me, let me put on the glasses. I can't even read right now. This is insane. Toriko's panting. All, all, all he did was wake up. All he did was wake up, and my dude is panting. He he's breathing. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> By the gods, dude. Yo, yo, Coke, even Coco stroke. Well, I'm sorry, the wounds on my face suddenly. Wounds? Wounds, bro. This. This. What is that in the corner? I don't care. We're live, Toriko. Oh, but I'm alright. Now, more importantly, what's inside the can? This, oh, what's that? I have no idea. Shellfish or something? What in the flying flag nars? You know what that thing Mitsutoshi has to stop with the berserk demons. <laughs> he really does, dude. But why do I have the feeling this thing right here is like the most hacked creature in the verse? Uh, look, or, or even or it was in its day. Because think everything fears this thing. But it's 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 disgusting. It, it really is. It has this it's spikes coming out and is is this like a mythical creature from like um some sort of myth or something? I don't know. I don't know. To be honest, I don't know. But yeah, I'm 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 sorry. I, I did, not even the can is interesting to me right now. Yo, black and white is crazy. I, I just that's what I'm gonna call him. This can't be it. An O guy. O guy. A shellfish. Ogre shellfish. Ogre shellfish. There's no doubt about it. A phantom shellfish. Look at that thing in the sea. Is that that looks like the sea in here up there? A phantom shellfish that was that was said to have once devoured the fish of all the different seas, all blue. Uh, the demon-like appetite was, was where it got its name, Ogai. But it was it was it, it it was thought that they had all gone extinct. Really, this tiny little shellfish. The Ogai may seem small, but on the outside, but inside it's a labyrinth of nearly infinite size. Man, is there any meat inside? Yeah, there is. Try pulling it out. All the fish it's eaten over its life should be densely packed within. Oh, it came out. Yo, this, so, but, but then, like, is, is this thing really, like, on that level? Because, I guess the only thing it defeated is, is something in that can. Or, or maybe that's what they meant. Since his stomach is, is a labyrinth, and it's something that could, that could suck everything in, maybe that's, that's, like, the only way to really defeat Neo, is to send him into an infinite labyrinth where he'll never be able to escape, and he'll just continue falling for all of eternity. Who knows? Wow, that could possibly be it. Whoa, incredible. And he pulls out, like, this ginormous thing out of the thing's mouth. Look at all the plumpless, luscious meat. That's kind of disgusting, but it does, it does kind of look good. Isn't it amazing, Toriko? It's like a, the meaty foot of a giant scallop. Rather than the shellfish, this meat is more like fish meat. It has the wonderful fatness of salmon. Uh, let me see. And Toriko eats it? Yo, if, if, if this thing... Now that he actually ate it, black and white is about to come out. I, I, I have a feeling, dog. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, a tornado kooky punch, yo. 
he's he, he he's destroying he's destroying a continent that that thing is scary when when blue when blue advises you to stop that's when you have to chill that that anyone anyone else can say it anyone else can say it but when blue tells you to take it easy the craziest bastard in the verse blue when the blue only tells you to take it easy damn it you're gonna take it easy and you're gonna take that man seriously because blue fears nothing but he told him to take it easy. Yeah, he told him to take it easy. He said, look, Toriko's not ready for you yet, man. That's hype, dude. That's hype. Because he, has, he, has, he hasn't even mastered red, let alone blue. And let alone this new one. This new one just woke up. Like, this is, there's no way Toriko can master all three of these, yo. <laughs> there's, this, is, this is crazy. Yo, Toriko just ate this thing. And there's sort of a couple panels from eating it, too. He said it was good. It just keeps coming out, Toriko, like there's no end to it. The old guy can also bring back with his flavors of fish that are presently extinct, and for that reason it's called Memories of Flavor of Distant Seas. Well, that's pretty cool. It's settled. This ingredient is going to my full course's seafood dish. Yo, heck yeah. Oh guy, Memories of Distant Seas. It's been a while since he's added something into that thing, so that's awesome. So now we know that it, oh, this is a really important chapter to the, to the series then. Oh guy, Memories of Distant Seas is being added to the seafood dish. Awesome. So now Toriko's full course menu looks like this. The hors d'oeuvre is the BB corn soup, century soup. I'm planning on rereading the series soon. So I, 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 I'm excited to go through those arcs again, especially century soup, man. Uh, oh, guys, the seafood dish. Me dish is none. Main course, we already know what's going to be. Salad, air, rainbow, rainbow fruit, and then the billion bird egg. Rainbow fruit arc was awesome, too. Uh, but it's still bothering bothering me that gold can. Long, long ago, I, I had heard there was a demon that was packed away inside of a gold can like that. Oh, well, as long as nothing happened, that son of a bastard. But it's still bothering me. That gold can. Long, long ago, I had heard there was a demon that was packed away inside of a gold can like that. Is he possibly talking about the, the black and white one inside of Dorigo? It's the only thing I can think of. But I'm not sure. I mean, they said that what was packed in there was the only thing that could defeat the Oni. So it would make sense that that, that, that thing, is, because they're touching upon it in the same chapters, it might as well be black and white. I'm going to call it black and white. All right, I'm going to call it black and white, because that's what it is. Oh, yeah, Toriko, with this last food sampling here, I've completed my full course. Well, seriously, Sonny, it still kind of pisses me off they skipped over that, but still. How can it be so beautiful? That's how I felt about today's Kintama chapter. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. I can't take my eyes off. Off the full course. And here we see Sunny's full course. Eau de Bois, beautiful skin caviar. Soup, shadis, lobster soup, seafood dish, skin whitening tuna. Meat dish, perfect beauty beef. Main course, jewel meat, salad, mochi skin, bean sprout, dessert, earth. And drink, shadis, dragon, scale, scale sake. Cocos, uh, sundrico flower, lee dragon tears, brio swordfish, G2 phoenix. A main course is a question mark. Uh, salad, neo tomato. Dessert, dumbum fruit, and the drink, of course, is Atom. Zebra's full course is always funny to me. <laughs> it's all because it's like it's like a it's like a full course full of just DC. It's full of just ridiculously huge things. Look at this Kishin ki ki intestines. For in my in, in, from where I come from, a Kishin is a demon. Demon intestines, like what the heck? Equator equator soup. <laughs> Equator soup, another barbecue island. Island. Oh. <laughs> Main course, question mark, BB pill, pill, pill bug, Daruma sage, tr sage tribute, and then of course the Melo Cola. Oh man, this this man, this man is a bastard. <laughs> this, uh, he, <laughs> it's just so many just ridiculous things when it goes to Zebra, dude. It really is. What does Zebra, the BB pill? pill bugs we use to practice enbu when did you decide on those for your salad and you can and can you actually call that a salad come on sonny man anything can be a salad but what you what you didn't know after juggling those things around ten thousand times it becomes so delicious you could just die on the spot that's true very very good point your texture also becomes like cabbage oh really or just, so, so wait a sec so you were just juggling your balls all by yourself that whole time I've got just two left. I've just got two left. My, my meat dish and my main course. God. Now let's go get them, guys. Heck yeah. And then it shows Stargent. Oh, man. Stargent talking to Toriko. Yo, these are ridiculous re revelations. We've got the best couple chapters, yo. So that, that, we have this revelation that, of course, with, with Stargent and Toriko, possibly being twins, right? And now with the scar, that's connected directly to his gourmet -oni. 
you know, that 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 that's the way it has to be. But I wonder how that connects into Toriko's past as well. Like it's it's interesting. I'm actually curious on seeing Toriko and his sergeant's past. The ingredient I've been the ingredient I've been looking for all this time. I finally found it. What really? That's fantastic, isn't it, Star? So what is it? What's the ingredient? I'll tell you when the time comes. Now come on, let's go capture God. Wait, wait, what? We never looked for all this time. I finally found it. Oh man, hey, I'm curious on on it. Oh, that kind that, that kind of feels like a death flag to me. He says, "I'll tell you when the time comes." Now come on, that kind that kind of feels like a death flag to me. But we'll we'll we'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. You, the king of the ring. Yeah, Mitsutoshi's not none! We see smoke coming down, and we just see the King of the Ring with his humongous knives! One down, what's next? Oh, one down! Oh, man, that's the end of the chapter. Full course is completed one after the next. Next chapter, the white hot blazing heat of dawn versus Neo! Oh, yeah! So next, we're gonna continue the King of the Ring battle. That's gonna be awesome sauce. Now, when it comes to the full course thing, that to me, except for Toriko's, they pretty much lost their their importance, at least for me. Like whenever I saw they come, they they are actually really really close to completing the full course. It's it, it's it's great, but I no longer feel like the sense of, of satisfaction I would have gotten had I actually seen them go through their journeys. Now, if we see that through a flashback later on, so be it. But for right now. It was, it was just, like, for Toriko, I, I can't wait. I really can't wait to see when we actually completes full course. But as far as Coco's, even, and the thing is, like, I love Coco, too. But after the things got skipped, and I couldn't really experience that journey with them. That, that, that really, that, that, it really just doesn't uh, stick out to me anymore, the whole full course menu thing anymore. I'm just in it for the journey now. But Dawn Slime, freaking awesome sauce. That's going to be great. Mid, the beginning of the chapter was was great. That, that means that Tengu's about to come over there with them. But at the beginning of the chapter, was really, really good. And, and and I'm really curious because Medora freed everyone, and then it's like it's, it's true though because Medora is fighting against Joa, so I can see I can see that he went into this battle prepared to die, especially considered how much Joe resembles Froze. You know, it's gonna it's gonna hurt him because Froze was the person he loved the most. So that that's def that definitely has to hurt him. So right now it's going down in Toriko, but now Toriko's on the way to capture God. So now the real battle is about to begin. This is about to be serious. This is this is about to be the gourmet solar eclipse. We're about to get on on one hell of a thing. It's gonna, it's gonna be insane. This chapter by itself is the, when I see. Listen, Blue by himself gets me hyped. You guys remember the 286 reaction? Well, if if you've been on the channel for a lot for a long time, 286, 287 the reaction when I saw when I saw Blue, son, oof, <laughs> insane. But when I see black and white, yo, it's like on the same level as Emperor Crow for me now because it just it just looks so beast. I'm telling you, it's the wings thing. It's the wings thing. So, I, I that's another character I can wait to see again, Emperor Crow. But above all of this, if I'm keeping it real, even above Emperor Crow, and like on the same level as black and white, oh, I have them on the same level. But there's one more thing, yo. I need to see Jiro again, yo. I need to see, and I'm I'm excited because Don the Don Slime Awesome Sauce is here, but I I can't wait to see Jiro again. Yo, Jiro was about to take on an army yo, by himself. He was a savage. He released the knock. The seal is gone. So. I'm excited, you guys. I've been awesome for day. This week's chapter of Toriko was straight up hype sauce. I don't think I've gotten this hype for a Toriko chapter in in in, in a, I I think since the um 353. 353, which was nine chapters ago. Nine chapters ago. Through 353, I lost my shit. I, I lost. I lost everything. I lost it all. Yeah, you all with the crow. I mean it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy, but yeah, because like the chapters in between, and, and even even like the Ganis stuff. The, oh yeah, I forgot about Ganis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since the past couple chapters have been like more story wise, and it's been pissing me off a bit late. But this chapter, this chapter, great, brought me back to the Toriko awesome sauce. And of course, I, I think my favorite chapter, honestly, in the past ten wasn't even one of the hype ones. I think my favorite chapter in the past couple ten ch ch chapters was the emotional Don Slime one. That was an awesome chapter, and that was chapter of the week that week. That's for damn sure. That that Don Slime emotional chapter with Ichi Ryu. That was that was good stuff. That was really good stuff. But this week, yo, the black and white thing. I just I'm telling you, man. I, I love wings. I and, I and I love things that can duke it out in the air. And that thing legit. Ed Blue said, "Fly out there, fly, take flight, boy." I might. Now I know how Nightwall feels. To be honest, and any Blue fanboy out there, I now understand how you feel. 
because that's how I feel about black and white. Like when I when I see, because I, I love blue too. Blue has the devil fork. Devil the, the devil fork is seriously my favorite technique in the in the, in, the, in the entire verse. That that freaking thing was hype. It was like when Luffy first released the the, the, the jet pistol. Like that I love that moment. But oh, dude, crazy crazy. You guys have been awesome today. The Don slime is gonna go in next week. I'm, I'm honestly yeah, it's about to go down. We're we're in the Gourmet Solar Eclipse, baby. Tengu Brunchy said it himself. We are officially in the Gourmet Solar Eclipse. Uh, Death Flag possibly for Stargent, and I can't wait to see more about Toriko and Stargent's past because it's very interesting, especially whenever his scars start hurting. Uh, this, 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 this shellfish, you know, what exactly, how, how is that going to, because it's definitely going to be something huge for the future, but is it really going to be that, so that it, its bottomless pit of a stomach is going to end up being the thing that swallows, that takes Neo and... That's how that that's how he just is gone forever. He just continues to fall for all of eternity. It's a bottomless pit. So I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. But the, the legends. Yeah, he said. Uh, uh, Gigi said of the legends. The legends that they always want to demon. That was trapped in there. So Toriko awesome sauce. You guys have not such a day. This chapter straight up, straight up, straight up, straight up hype sauce. I uh, loved it. Absolutely loved it. Yo, that, this is Toriko. <laughs>